Wait for you guys to get in here. Wait for you guys to get in here. See where you're at. So, or you can add people to it. <clears throat> hey, Mil Fuentes. Ah, okay. So now we can add people to it. Okay. I didn't realize we can add people to the lives now on Facebook. Well, that's perfect. Hey, Tanya Lee. Well, yeah. So I'm even happier now. I didn't realize we could add people to the lives and bring them on the camera. So that's that's great. So, I mean, I know everybody's not home and whatever, but I just want to discuss. Good morning, Justin. I just want to discuss um, and talk to you. Take your minds. I am. Hey, Monique. I am really. I really want to know what you guys think. I really want to know how you guys feel about it, what you think about it. What's going on? I mean, how do you I have so many topics and I guess so many different things I guess we'll kind of discuss and talk about. But like when it comes to I don't know if anybody's seen the Billy Porter, you know, what he said yesterday. I talked about this. I think he t did it yesterday, but I talked about this the other day briefly and I kind of want to get into it. But I do I do feel that the the African American community treats their LGBT members different than they do the other members of the uh, of the the community in total. Um, I do feel that it is okay. It is systematically taught within within each other to just be like, you know, that's why that's why there's terms like no homo, bro. Like that's no homo. And that doesn't make it I don't really understand the thought process. Like no one chooses I don't believe that anybody chooses to be ostracized. And as LGBT members already, we're already put in a different category, whatever your color is, whatever your color is, because there's there's bigotry and hatred, every race, every color within their own their own race or section, if you would. But I do find it to be way more prevalent and I could be wrong numbers wise I don't know the actual numbers I'm just speaking out of experience and things that I know and I've seen them on my own I do find it to be way more prevalent within the African American community and I'm really trying to understand what is the purpose of that what is the what is the need or the or, or the or the the thought in doing that you know um I see uh I try, I try, like, I'm trying to, trying to not say certain things and say certain things at the same time. But I, I see individuals still talking about trivial, trivialities and, and trivial things that are going on. Like, if somebody went to the store or if somebody did something, I just, I guess I just don't understand the necessity to, to fight with each other. At the current moment, it needs to be everybody that feels one way against the wrong that's going on, whatever your color is, against against the wrong. It needs to be everybody together, whatever your color is, against the wrong. And not be, well, okay, we're okay, but mm, you're gay. Mm, mm, but you're not, you're not, you know, I don't get the whole, I don't get it. I, I have seen, I have seen so many things. That I just don't understand. And I just wanted to see how you guys kind of felt about it. You know, who wants to get on the camera, talk to me about it, ask questions. Let's start a discussion. I just don't understand it. I mean, I've seen like the dark skin don't like the light skin. The light skin don't like the dark skin. You know, I remember going to a barber shop when I was a kid to a barber. And my barber was like, well, you're not black. Your hair isn't nappy. What? So does does so does that mean your hair has to be nappy to be black? I'm confused. You know, it, it's just oh, there it goes. Okay, there we go. 
I mean, like, I'm I'm confused on why why there has to be a there, there has to be a thing. Like, so you know, I'm confused mm-hmm. on the whole. You have to be a certain way to be a certain ethnicity. To be a certain ethnicity, you have to be a certain way. Because if you're not this way, you can't be part of that ethnic group. You cannot identify with that eth- ethnic group, even though your makeup inside of you might be that way. And that's an interesting... I just... I mean, I told you guys the other day, I don't know if I, you know, everybody doesn't watch the same stuff. So I'll say it here again. I have I experienced racism from 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 Anglo-Saxon, Caucasian individuals. Yes, I, w- I had my house was burned when I was a young kid. I was on the Maury Povich show. They put three crosses in my yard. They said niggers die in spray painted in my home and swastika symbols. And they did all that. I went on. I'm sorry. I went on Geraldo Rivera. I apologize. Not more. No. Whichever one. It doesn't matter. I don't remember. But, and we were on there, and it was just, it was, you know, it was an eye-opening thing. I was there with Curtis Sliwa, my mom, my dad, and me were in the audience. It was this whole ordeal. But, in that realm, I can say out of me, from what's happened to me, I have had that one experience maybe one other experience from an Anglo-Saxon or a Caucasian individual, and everything else that I've ever experienced in my life has come from, again, in air quotes, my own. Everything else I've experienced. I have recently, as you guys know, or knew, or whatever, you know, things have changed in my life with certain individuals, which is fine, but this is part of the same thing that I was experiencing in my 30s. I'm 40 years old. And in my 30s, I'm still experiencing this from peer groups just for the simple fact of you not doing what they deem to be black enough. That's crazy to me. And especially for my LGBT brothers, sisters, trans girls, trans men, bisexuals, queer, non-conforming, gender non-conforming individuals, my whole LGBT bracket. The fact that we are fighting against each other just because this one's not real, that one's not real enough, this, you don't do, you can't, it's crazy. We're already a subsect. It's crazy to me that you would sit there and chastise your brothers and sisters just because they don't do the same thing you do. When, mind you, when the boat comes or the ship comes and they say all the gays got to go, me, you, and everybody else that's gay got to go. Be proud of the fact that you're strong enough to live on your own, live your truth, and be whoever you choose to be. I'm sorry. I got to say this, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry to each and every one of my brothers, my sisters in the LGBT umbrella. I'm sorry to each and every one of them. That whoever your parents are or whoever your family was or whoever raised you, threw you out or didn't or didn't, you know, if that happened to you and they threw you out or they disowned you or stopped speaking to you or stopped knowing you or or made fun of you or made. I'm sorry. I Let me tell you, for me, I'm sorry. But that was not my experience. I, I thank God every day for my mother. Yes. Did my father try to kill me? Yes. My father tried to kill me with a machete that was probably like this long. Maybe a little bit longer. You probably tried to kill me with a machete that was... No, it was definitely longer than that. But it's one of them... You know, them like like if you in in the islands and you get one of them machetes and they cut down the, the trees, the machete was probably like this long. Okay? Yes, my dad reacted the way necessarily, but my dad was also in my life till I was 18 years old and I told him I'm no longer... When he tried to kill me, I re- retaliated... He went to jail. It took three police officers to get me off of him. Okay. So I don't. I don't hold that against the whole community. That's not the whole community. And every heterosexual person, male or female, does not hate me. And I don't hate every heterosexual individual. But I have noticed in the in the in the in the. African-American community, a bigger percentage of the people, as long as everything is, oh, excuse me, everything is good and everything is great 
Everything is great. Black Lives Matter. Oh, Black M Million Man March. Fight the power. Everything is great until they realize you sleep in your home or you go to somebody else's home or you do whatever you do in your own time where you pay your bills with the same sex. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh, oh no, he, he or she don't, mm -mm. he or she know. It's not, that's not okay. We got to stop that. But like I said, I want to go back to my, the, the moms, the dads that threw away their LGBT children. I'm sorry to you, LGBT children. Let me say it for you, for them. I'm sorry to you, LGBT children. I'm sorry to you. But those of us that didn't, I think that those of us that were fortunate enough for our parents, our, our families to be on our corner or be on our side, we need to we need to do an extra better job of 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 coveting and holding and hugging hugging our LGBT brothers and sisters, no matter what color they are, and telling them we love them and we care. Being tossed away does a lot of things to someone's mind. That's that's a fact. We also have to work. We also have to work on within the African American community. We have to work on mental awareness. That it's okay to go to the to the psychiatrist, the therapist, the doctor to seek information to make yourself feel better on the inside because you know that there's something not connecting between your mind and your body or maybe just in your mind. That's okay. It doesn't make you a lesser human being for not for for seeking out help. It doesn't make you a lesser human being. It's okay. But what's going on at the current moment and what's happening, we need to be with each other. The people, these people that are your favorites that you guys watch online, that you guys fought, that you guys watch online, you know, your your YouTube favorites or your your Facebook lives or your Instagram favorites or your your Instagram crushes or whatever it is. OK, whatever it is. Them still sitting there making videos about bullshit. About you know what this one did? Uh-uh. And you I, I don't really like that is insanity to me in the current climate. So you really don't care. To me, that's that's just letting me know. If I'm an individual that watches these people, I'm an individual that feels like, oh, okay. You don't really care. You say one thing and walk, a, you say one thing, but your actions are completely different from what you're saying. And I'm sorry, but you guys still patronizing them and still following them and still giving them your time and energy when they could give a fuck about you and what you feel and what's going on. That's your fault. You got to support those that support you. We have to do our damnedest to support one another. But sitting there, Yelling at each other through a screen, telling each other, fuck you, da 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 da. There's way more, we're in a pandemic besides just race tensions. When are we going to just, when are we going to just talk to each other? Why is it so hard to just have a real conversation with each other? Just talk with each other. Talk with each other, find out what's going on, see what's going on. Hey, are you having a good day? Hey, is something wrong? I believe that it's a, it's, it's a duty to people that have any kind of following. Small, large, middle, medium, <laughs> extra large, grande, vintage, or whatever them Starbucks cups are called. Just being silly. But whoever has any kind of following that people listen, I think it's their due diligence and their job at the current moment to talk to each one of their people about everything that's going on in the world. I do my damnedest to share my COVID-19 information that I see or get. I do my damnedest to share. If it's in your city, I, tr I, sh I try to share as much information as I can. No, I don't have to. No, nobody else has to. But I believe that if we are going to do this together, we need more positive thinking, more combined thinking together. And stop and stop. Every white person is not the devil. I've said this before, but every white person is not the devil. Every black person is not the devil. Every Spanish person, every race has bad people because we as human beings can be bad individuals. Because if we were all the same persons, we would be robots and there wouldn't even be a skin tone. Okay? 
So we, I encourage all of you to do your damnedest to be better human beings every day. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen tomorrow. It's not going to be, you know, this is not going to be a fight that, it, that goes away right now. It's not. But it's something that we need to do. It's something that we need to do together. It's, some, it's a discussion that needs to be had. And if, if black people want, if African-American individuals, if black people, if, 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 if the African-American community wants to, to be seen as a whole and together, then count us all, LGBT included. There's no reason to beat a black girl that identifies as trans because she tricks you. She didn't, if she tricks you, she tricks you. But if if she tricks you, let me say this. Okay? If she tricks you, let me say this. You and 32 of your homeboys do not need to beat her. Sir, if you were tricked by her, then you fight her. Be re Grow up, people. Let's grow up. I also want to say to my, my, my allies or 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 the parents of let me let me take away allies the parents of lgbt children be it they be just you know whatever they are if your child that you gave birth to decides that the name you gave them when they came out of you or the name that they or the chosen name is now whatever the chosen name is respect that choice if they tell you your if they tell you their name is ketchup, call them ketchup. Call them ketchup. Respect the people for what they are. We are all human beings. Your child is a human being as well. And you cannot just because you feel like you gave birth to one right one, one sex and if that person wants to change your sex that that's a problem. You can't you can't you can't call that person the name that they don't choose to be called. Respect them enough, give them that common courtesy, that human being, that human love to let them know, "Hey, I support you. If you want to be called that, then that's what I'm going to call you." And so and the same thing goes for your family members. Whatever you choose to call yourself, if you decide to go to be and, and become a trans man or woman, your family needs to respect you and call you the name that you asked to be called. Because that also helps mental stability and helps you get along because you feel loved and support. Any one of us that do not feel loved and support, can a, a, a thousand trillion things can transpire. But allowing your family and, and, and your family members to call you whatever they want or whatever name you were given at birth, when that's not how you feel or who you are, destroys you on the inside, regardless of what you don't want to admit out loud. So I want you to know that Gio is here with you and whatever you tell me your name is, that's what I'm calling you. And I love you. And if that's who you are, and I love every single inch of you, if that's who you want to be. Because I support you. Because nobody in the LGBT community, nobody, not one single human being, chose to be ridiculed, attacked, beat up, called names. You don't choose that. No one's going to choose to be a, no one's going to choose to be lesser than. No one's going to choose to be lesser than. Not at all. And I really want us to start thinking about how to make it better where we can all get together. But if we're all going to get together, we all got to get together all the way around. I don't know. I just, I mean, it's just how I felt about it. I just, I, I mean, I, I just, I just, I want us to do better. I want us to do better. I do. Anybody have anything to say? Like anybody want to get on the camera? Brown Candido. I have a 17 year old son and whatever he chooses to do, I'm supporting him. Yes, Brown Candido. And I appreciate that. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Parents accept nicknames. Why not accept chosen names? Ladon Lopez, I hope I said it right. Correct. Parents accept nicknames. Why don't they accept chosen names? Exactly. If that's your chosen name, that's what they need to call you. It's a sign of respect as being a human being. Why can't we be human to each other? Let's love each other. 
It's not going to happen overnight, I understand, but damn. Within your own household, within your family, that doesn't need to happen. It doesn't. We got to do better about that. Willis Keisha, yes, trans lives matter. All colors. Love should be un unconditional without attachments, conditions, strings, etc. Yes, Brown Candido. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Amanda Gills, I don't understand some parents either. If we want change, we have to be the change. Yes, Brown Candido, we do. Yes, we do. Any one of you that want to get on here and talk to me, I am down for questions, talking. Let me know. I'm down for it all. I mean, I just want to let's 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 I mean, air it out. If you have any questions, anything you want to know, anything you want to discuss. I mean, it is what it is. I just feel like I just feel like we need to do a better job of supporting each other. If we do. And I mean that. And what I mean by each other is all of us. Oh, is you, if you're a human supporting, fuck it, support the animals too. shit. We need the animals, too. So I just I just want us to try to do a better job. It's not going to happen overnight. I understand that. But I'm serious about that. I'm, I'm so sad. I'm so I feel so bad for the trans women and, and gay individuals. I just feel bad for individuals that whatever their choices are with their families, their families don't do their damnedest to support them because we don't have support from somebody. We are lost. I think my I think my I thank God every day for the mother that I have. I'm real funny about my mom. I love my mom to death. My mom has been through my dad beating her all her teeth out. My mom being tied up, beaten by my dad, doing all kinds of stuff. I, I love my mom every day. And I want each and every person that is in the sound of my voice, within the sound of my voice, and get on this camera or see me to know that I love them too. Like, it's not, you're not alone. Even though people might make you feel alone, you are not alone. And you do deserve respect. And you do deserve human compassion. Now, if you ever need that, my door is always open for you to get that. Oh, LaDawn, I don't know why you have it. I don't know why you don't have an invite button. I'm sorry. But it's just, I mean, I just, I want you all to know that. Like, it's just, it, 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 it has to be said. And I believe that it doesn't, it doesn't need to stop. It doesn't need to stop. This is the time for us to say what we got to say and support each other and talk about it all. Whoever has whatever, whatever, whatever. I, I really, you know, it's just so much I have in my main brain. I'm not I'm not retarded. I promise. I just have so much in my brain that I want to talk about or, or discuss. And, and it's just like, you know, I really feel I really feel bad. You know, the trans community is a is an understated, untalked about community. And I really feel bad that in certain in certain ethnic groups and cer certain echelons of people, it is looked down upon to go to a doctor or to to have, you know, help or talk to someone about it. So if you feel that way, I want to also say to you, I'm here to talk to you, too. If you don't feel like you can afford a doctor and you just need somebody to talk to. Well, I'm here for you. Talk to me. I like to talk. I like to talk. I like to listen. I own my businesses so I can make my own schedule. I work harder or slower or faster or I work how I want to work and I have time. So I, I mean, no, I, I want you all to know that I love you all. And I mean that. Let me see that brown. That has a situation that happened to that young lady disturbed me. You marching this Saturday in Boston. Thank you, Brown Candido. I appreciate you marching with us. But to many, they are internally hurt or unable to give respect and unconditional love freely. And LaDon, this is very true. LaDon Lopez, this is very true that they don't have that capability. And I get it. But I have that capability. I, I probably love people too much. I've, I've found that out. I love and care about people too much. And it gets used. And that's cool. But I'm no worse for that because I genuinely care about who I genuinely care about. And I can't help that. And I'm not trying to change that. So whoever doesn't have that in their life, Gio's here. This one, this face, remember it? I've got you. I'm your friend. And I'm always here for you. And so, you know, I, I, whoever, whoever needs to talk, whoever needs to chat, I'm here. I love you all. And I just think we need to do band together as best we can. And let's try to do let's try to do better together. All right. Love you.